Have you ever contemplated the moon as more than just a celestial body, but as a potential spaceport? This concept is not as far-fetched as it may initially sound. In fact, it's a topic that has been capturing the interest of scientists, researchers, and space enthusiasts around the globe. Imagine the moon, our closest celestial neighbor, transformed into a bustling hub of activity, a launching point for explorations deeper into the cosmos. This idea isn't merely about setting foot on lunar soil, but about harnessing the moon's resources and strategic position to propel us further into the universe. As we delve into the concept of a lunar spaceport, we'll explore why this notion is gaining traction, what it could mean for the future of space exploration and how it could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. The moon, our closest celestial neighbor, could be the stepping stone to the stars. The moon's potential as a spaceport offers numerous advantages. Imagine this, the moon, our closest celestial neighbor, serving as a launch pad for further space exploration. The moon's gravity, just one-sixth of Earth's, allows for easier takeoff and landing, requiring significantly less energy and fuel. This could lead to more efficient, cost-effective missions. Moreover, the moon is rich in resources like helium-3, a potential fuel for future nuclear fusion, and water ice, which can be converted into rocket fuel. These resources could be mined and processed on the moon itself, further reducing the cost and complexity of missions. Finally, the moon's proximity to Earth makes it an ideal staging ground for missions to more distant locations like Mars. It would also serve as a perfect testing ground for new technologies and strategies required for long-term space habitation. Harnessing these advantages could revolutionize our approach to space exploration and colonization. However, establishing a lunar spaceport is not without its challenges. The moon, a harsh and unforgiving landscape, presents unique obstacles that require innovative solutions. Dealing with extreme temperature swings from blistering heat to freezing cold is one such challenge. But scientists are exploring cutting-edge materials and construction techniques to withstand these conditions. Another hurdle is the moon's low gravity, which could affect construction processes and human health. To combat this, engineers are devising gravity-simulating technologies to maintain a safe and productive environment. Additionally, the moon's dusty surface, known as lunar regolith, can be harmful to both machinery and humans. Yet, this same regolith could be an asset, potentially used as a raw material for building structures on the moon. The challenges of establishing a lunar spaceport are indeed daunting, but with the right blend of innovation, determination and technological advancements, they are far from insurmountable. While challenging, these obstacles are not insurmountable and the rewards could be well worth the effort. Developing infrastructure on the moon will be a monumental task. It's not just about building a few structures here and there, but creating a whole new world of possibilities. Picture this, launch pads, habitats and other necessary structures, all designed to withstand the harsh lunar environment. The construction of launch pads would provide the platform for the launch and landing of spacecrafts enabling regular trips between the moon and the earth. Habitation modules, on the other hand, would provide a safe and comfortable living environment for astronauts, scientists, and potentially even tourists. Other necessary structures could include research facilities, storage units for resources, and protective barriers against meteorites and solar radiation. But the real challenge lies not just in building these structures, but in making them sustainable. We're talking about systems that recycle air and water and generate power from the moon's resources. The creation of sustainable lunar infrastructure could open up a world of possibilities. A lunar spaceport would necessitate the initiation of mining operations on the moon. The very concept of lunar mining evokes a sense of exhilaration and curiosity. Imagine this. Machines, remotely controlled or automated, digging into the lunar surface, extracting valuable resources. This isn't a page from a science fiction novel, this is a plausible reality of our near future. The moon is a treasure trove of resources. For instance, helium-3, a rare isotope on Earth, is abundant on the moon. This could potentially fuel nuclear fusion, a clean and efficient source of energy. There's also an abundance of metals such as iron and titanium, essential for construction. Moreover, water ice discovered in lunar craters could be broken down into hydrogen and oxygen, the fundamental ingredients for rocket fuel. These resources could propel further space exploration, making the moon a pit stop for interplanetary travel. 
Lunar mining could be the key to unlocking the resources needed for sustained space travel. Creating a habitat on the moon is another crucial aspect of establishing a lunar spaceport. The design and construction of these habitats require meticulous planning and innovative solutions. The primary challenge is to protect inhabitants from the harsh lunar environment, including extreme temperature fluctuations and cosmic radiation. Imagine constructing a habitat that not only shields you from radiation, but also maintains a sustainable environment inside. The key here is to use local resources, a concept known as in situ resource utilization. For instance, lunar soil or regolith can be used to create radiation shielding bricks. These habitats must also be self-sustaining. They must recycle waste, produce food and manage water. Hydroponic systems, for example, could be used to grow food, while water could be recycled through advanced filtration systems. In essence, these habitats would be microcosms of Earth, self-contained environments designed to support human life in the most inhospitable of places. A well-designed habitat could be our home away from home. Powering a lunar spaceport will require innovative solutions. The Moon, our closest celestial neighbor, presents unique opportunities and challenges for power generation. Solar energy, a seemingly obvious choice, must grapple with the lunar day-night cycle, which lasts approximately 29 and a half Earth days. Imagine a night that lasts for about 14 Earth days. To overcome this, we could create a network of solar panels spread across the lunar surface, ensuring that some are always in sunlight. Or we could use lunar peaks that are almost perpetually bathed in sunlight. Alternatively, nuclear power could provide a consistent energy source, unhindered by the moon's long night. However, the logistics of transporting and operating nuclear reactors in space present their own challenges. Harnessing these power sources will require technological leaps, but the payoff could be immense. Innovative power solutions could light the way for our lunar future. A lunar spaceport may seem like a distant dream, but it could be closer than we think. Imagine a bustling hub on the moon, a stepping stone to the stars. We've discussed the many advantages it presents from its strategic location to the invaluable resources it harbors, but it's not without challenges. The harsh lunar environment, the technological hurdles and the enormous costs involved. Yet, with every problem comes a solution. We've explored how infrastructure development from launch pads to habitats could make living on the moon a reality. Then there's lunar mining, not just a sci-fi concept anymore, but a potential source of fuel and construction materials. And what about power generation? We've delved into the prospects of harnessing the moon's unobstructed sunlight through solar panels or even deploying nuclear reactors. The moon, a beacon in our night sky, could soon become a beacon for our future in space. The dream is big, but the potential is limitless.